Virus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days with effect from midnight on Thursday, the 26th of March. This is a decisive measure to save lives of South Africans from infection and save the lives of hundreds of thousands of our people. All South Africans will have to stay at home. Um, so, 23rd of March, South Africa, our President Ramaphosa announced that we were going into lockdown. So he gave us three days to prepare ourselves and we had a lot of preparing to do. So we went and bought a lot of canned food and pasta and the rest of it that we would need for about a week or two. We weren't sure what the shops were going to be doing here from what the news has shown us about what was happening overseas. The shop shelves were empty so we didn't want to panic buy. So we did go out and we bought a few of the essentials. So stocked up on bread and milk, like I said, for two weeks. Like provision pretty much for two weeks and we thought it was pretty fun because it was like practicing our provisioning skills. Um, and yeah, so from there we also went and we thought maybe we should stock up on multivitamins. That was a joke. There were no multivitamins. The were empty. No, they weren't empty, but all the flu. Anything pertaining to flu and healthy living was sold out. The entire vitamin shelf was clear. Yeah, it out. went from like normal vitamins, the shelves were stacked, and then you came like, and it was just empty. It was just a line, an empty shelf. Yeah. So we couldn't stock up on that, and the worst part is we were getting a bit fluy. So it started with me, and I had a bit of a sore throat, but no coughing, and no temperature. So I had a sore throat and a bit of an achy body, but it was nothing extreme. Then it passed on to my mom, and then to Colvin. So we obviously the weakest link of the fam. And yeah, so we rode that out for about a week into lockdown. Um, so yeah. Needless to say, it was just the common cold. The common we cold. are, all three of us are healthy. And yeah, now we are charging on with whatever else we can get through in this time. We had to really prepare and sit the first day, make sure we knew what we needed get it and bring it down to the boat because leaving wasn't a very big option. We were also really scared to be out in public because of corona and yeah so we wanted to stay safe. With lockdown we won't be able to go up to the local hardware store because we usually go about twice a day when we get to a project and realize we have half of our equipment we checked with the marina that we would still be allowed to live on the boat and we were we are the only liverboards the at the moment marina. so it's kind of cool we, because we have no home to go back to they have no choice and we have to stay on Saoirse so we are the only people in the marina which is pretty cool because that pretty much means we have free roam of the marina and obviously the facilities around it because we do still use the ablution locks because we haven't got our showers yet which will probably be in this episode or the next um, so yeah we are roaming free so the first week of cor corona down <laughs> corona down of lockdown we pretty much chilled we took it as a time for oh, the first week like, all three of us were sick we weren't super sick but we just didn't want to risk it so we yeah so we chilled watched movies and it was pretty bad weather so we stayed in bed pretty much all day watching movies which was pretty cool because we have not done that since we've got here so we've been doing a lot of fishing trying to I haven't done banana 
library just yet. Apparently that's a must try during lockdown. But we don't want to conform to the norm. Sigil's lying, she hasn't done anything apart from some hot crust buns. She's lacking in the And Malva some pudding. cinnamon rolls. Lacking in the Malva pudding department as well as the lemon meringue department. I made, only. oh no, that was before lockdown. But I've made up, oh, I made rusks that flopped. Is that all I've made? I think I'm scared onto the mean? bread. Severely lacking in the lemon Nothing's meringue Nothing's stopping you. You can put up a recipe for lemon meringue. You do know that. Also, in the time of this lockdown, we have found ourselves the newest member of the clan. And uh, so, I don't quite know really We have named her Cleo. You just haven't accepted it. So, Cleo for Cleo, Cleo Patra. Sure, kind of just walked herself onto the boat not so long ago. And now she kind of just goes as she likes. Well, it all started. She's the marina office cat. She was abandoned and left here by her owners and the marina office took her in but obviously she stays out at night. Um, so it started off with her visiting us once a month in the morning she would come through to spend a few hours with us and then wander off. Now she doesn't ever leave <laughs> and she loves me the most just putting it out there. Kidding. She has no favorites. She's just so cute, I actually can't stand it. Even when she doesn't want to be on the yacht, we force her to be, not we, Colbin in particular. Obviously during lockdown there are no people in the marina office so we have taken over giving her all the cuddle and care she needs. My new baby. Obviously we were hoping to leave sort of by the end of April um, but given that the lockdown is now only ending at the end of April that's obviously not an option. Um, so basically we just thought we should take this time to really fine-tune everything that we've been doing on the boat um, But we've also got a lot more work to do so I don't think we would have gotten out in time for the end of April Yeah, uh, we Put all the systems in, in place, but we haven't tested any of them correctly. We haven't done proper sea trials yet um, We've only just started sea trials, so it really gives us enough time um, to really test out everything first to make sure that the boat's 100% seaworthy before we set out um, to cross the Atlantic. Uh, and like Tegan said, we were given three days to kind of decide what we were going to do in, the, in these 21 days, which has now been extended to another two another weeks. Another two weeks, another 14 days. And um, it will probably be extended further than that. Yeah, we do suspect that it's going to be sus um, extended again after that. So, yeah, as I was saying, we were given three days to kind of take down a list of everything we thought we could get done in 21 days. And so we set out to the storage unit, packed up a lot of stuff. Put it down in the trailer because we couldn't keep it all on the yacht. So, yeah. It's... Um, and now kind of our dock, the dock around our boat is covered in stuff and uh, wood and all sorts of tools.
fishing. We baked, apparently not enough according to my significant other. We washed the boat, which we haven't had much time to do. So we buckled down. I shouldn't say we, me. Scrubbed it silly because with working on the boat it's obviously gotten very dirty and some people haven't been so clean and have messed resin and all sorts of damn stuff on the boat which I managed to clean off and even got rust out of our paint so rust spots and marks and stuff Right in the middle of cleaning, this is what I get to look at while I work. You can't complain when you've got this view. This is what we use to clean the boat. It is non-toxic and biodegradable, so we feel better about cleaning the boat with it. We try to stay earth friendly. Oh, I lost a lure. So I had my lucky lure. It was a little chartreuse bucktail jig that I chose when we were still in Belito. And it was just so perfect and I was like, you know what, I'm going to catch me a big fish. I uh, went fishing and used my lucky jig and it got stuck on one of the dock lines. Be the boat, my linen, the dishes, <laughs> but my most challenging one yet okay, was bathing a cat. It's okay, it's okay, precious. It's nice and warm. With winter coming, Cleo started appreciating a good warm place to sleep in the yacht, and she started getting familiar with coming to our beds. Okay. 
We feel as clean as a bean when we've done. Yeah, so nice and warm. We have no problem with her sleeping with us. Um, if she wasn't doing it, we'd probably be encouraging her to do it. But I felt that if she was going to start becoming a regular, that she would definitely need a deep clean. obviously didn't think I did a good enough job. This is quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not is it bad? It's better than it was this morning. Look like Amy White. This is quarantine face. As much as this video makes it look like a fun and entertaining time, it's not. We sit with it heavy on our heart that we are a third world country and if COVID-19 hits our country and gets into our towns and informal settlements and starts booming, we are doomed. Please practice social distancing. Wear your mask if you are going out in public. Don't go to different households and friends. This is defeating the objective of this entire practice. It is unfair on the people that are trying to protect their families and friends that are doing what they can to combat the spread of COVID. Don't be selfish. COVID can affect you, no matter what class, race or gender you are. Please remember, no one is invincible. Thank you for watching with us if you enjoyed our video please give it a like and if you want to leave a comment please feel free if you haven't already please click the subscribe button